Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about Grease. Grease was one of my favorite movies growing up, favorite musicals, and I wanted to recreate this 1950s bad sandy look. So if you wanna see exactly how to get this makeup look, which is perfect for a theme party, perfect for if you're in the musical Grease, or perfect for if you just wanna look like a 1950s baddie. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so here we are, fresh faced, hair in pin curls. As usual, we're gonna start with the eyebrows. I am using the Benefit Give Me Brow Pencil. I'm just gonna fill in my brows as normal. You can try to do a more 50s look, which was a bold brow with a high arch, which is kind of what I already have. Um, so just up to you. In Greece, Olivia Newton-John has a very thin eyebrow, but I didn't wanna do that, so I am just kind of accentuating my natural arch and filling them in as I normally would. You do your brows, I'll do my brows, and we'll meet back in the middle. Then going in with the P. Louise eyeshadow base, this is the shade 01. This is just a very light skin tone eyeshadow base. You can also just use a concealer, but we're just putting this down to make sure the eyeshadow lasts all day, all night, and it really just makes the color of the eyeshadow more impactful. So I just blend that out with my fingers all over my lid. This covers any veins, any redness, anything like that, and just layer it up and pack it on with your finger. Next, going into eyeshadow, this is the Viseart Neutral Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I'm taking a matte white shade, and I'm just setting everywhere we put that eyeshadow base. So all of my brow bone, all over my lid, just kind of locking in that primer and really just giving us a perfect canvas for our eyeshadow look. Going in with this mid-tone neutral brown, I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush and putting this directly into the crease and blending it up. So you can see here, I put it in the crease, windshield wiper motions back and forth, and then blend it kind of in circular motions up and out. Sandy has a beautiful smoky eye, and so that is what we are gonna be creating today. Going in with this really pale cream shade, this is our blending shade. So what you do is you take that on top of that brown and in between that matte white. So it really just blurs the edges and makes sure that everything is blended seamlessly and it just looks flawless. There's no harsh lines, it's just really blown out and beautiful. Now I'm going in with this Makeup Forever eyeshadow in S556. They no longer make these, which is so sad because their eyeshadows were amazing, but this is just a beautiful mid-tone gray. It's very light, I have to kind of build it up here, but any kind of gray eyeshadow will do. She definitely, if you look in close up pictures of Olivia Newton-John, has a gray smoky eye, so that's what we're going for today. Now going in with this kind of purpley gray shade, I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm putting this kind of directly in my crease. Now I have hooded eyes, so I'm actually putting this above my crease and kind of creating a crease that you will actually see when my eyes are open. If you don't have hooded eyes, just put it directly into your crease. So kind of however your eye shape is. But that's what I'm doing here, really focusing the eyeshadow on the outer corner and then blending it into the rest of my crease. Focusing on that kind of outward V shape because we really want that defined. Again, if you look at pictures of Olivia Newton-John, she has that kind of cat eye effect with her eyeshadow. So that is what I'm trying to create here. Filling in any gaps with that first gray shade that we used and blending it all so that it looks like just kind of like one flawless, seamless eyeshadow look. As you can see here, I have the outer V and you can just build it up as you like. I'm adding a little bit more of that dark gray just into the outer V and then blending out any excess. We just want that, again, that cat eye look. You can really tell in the photos that she has this kind of winged out eyeshadow look and just blending until you feel like you can't blend anymore. Now going in with a black liner. This is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in Black and I'm taking an angled brush. She definitely has a gorgeous matte black cat eye, so that is what we were going for. This was very popular in the 50s. All of the actresses were doing it. So I'm just starting off in the inner corner of my eye doing little, little strokes just to kind of get that as close to the lashes as possible. And then I'm going to go in and do the wing. So here I go, you can see I turn my brush the other way and go for my lower lash line and draw a line out towards the end of my brow and then fill it back in. So I turn my brush each time. 
You can also use a liquid eyeliner for this, whatever lets you get that cat eye, but she definitely had a bold, strong wing, so this is what we were going for. I, I read an article saying that when she made her debut as Bad Sandy, no one saw her before until they like hit you know, until the director said action. So all of the guys' reactions in that scene are real and are genuine. And she said they were shocked when they saw her with this smoky eye, red lip. They just, all the guys loved it. So just take your time with that and create a nice wing. Here are both of my eyes done. Nice thick wing. Now I'm going in with a makeup wipe and just wiping off any excess. This is where you can also really finesse that wing and make it really, really sharp. Keep that eyeshadow really sharp as well and just clean up any fallout. This is why we do our eyes first. It is just so much easier. Okay, now onto the face. We are going in with the House Labs foundation. Whatever foundation you like to use, this one's just my favorite at the moment. I take this on the Real Techniques blending sponge. This just melts into your skin. It is a perfect shade match for me. They have tons of different shades. It's just a really beautiful foundation. Her skin looks quite matte in the movie, so we're just kind of going for a soft satin matte look here with our foundation. Beautiful. Then into concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Again, just kind of conceal how you normally would. I do it underneath my eyes, around my nose, because I have a lot of redness there any blemishes, that kind of thing. Just kind of conceal as you normally would. And then I'm gonna blend that out with the Real Techniques sponge as well. Pretty straightforward. Okay, now we're gonna carve out the face a little bit. This is the Merit Bronze Balm. And I'm just gonna put this a little bit. This is very sheer, very light. This is great if you have fair skin. Blending that out with a fluffy brush. She's not really bronzed, but I was just feeling like I looked a little bit ghostly and I needed some color back in my face. So kind of just putting that on the foreheads, the temples, and the cheekbones. We're gonna sculpt even further with the Fenty Matchsticks in Amber. This is a gorgeous contour, cream contour, and I'm just flipping my brush around and really just trying to carve out that cheek and lift my cheekbone because we need to look sculpted. This is bad Sandy, she's gotta have cheekbones. So just kind of packing that in, getting it to the level of color that I want and blending it out. You can also put that underneath your jaw as well to really just carve out your jawline, get rid of any double chin action. It's a, it's a great secret. Now going in with blush, this is the Patrick Ta Cream and Powder Blush and she's blushing. In all the photos I see of Sandy, it looks like she just has a natural kind of ready, beigey flush. So that's what we're going for. It just looks very natural, like the color you would actually look like when you blush so that is what we're going for and I'm putting that all over my cheeks on the apples of my cheeks up into my temples and a little bit on the forehead and a little bit across my nose as well just to really give it a flushed healthy blended look now in the into the Huda Beauty Easy Bake setting powder in the shade Cupcake this is a brightening pink powder and I'm using this beauty blender puff to blend that in with and I'm just packing that where I put my concealer. So underneath my eyes, really packing that in, blending it out, putting it everywhere we put concealer. This will make sure your makeup does not budge and gives you that satin matte if effect. I'm also gonna carve out underneath my cheekbones as well. This just, again, adds to the chiseledness of your face. Totally optional, but it's just what I like to do. So I'm just taking some of that powder on my puff and carving out underneath where we put the blush and bronzer and contour. And then you just take a fluffy brush and blend that away. And you are left very sculpted. Back into the eyeshadow palette, taking that neutral matte, I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes, just really blend that out as our first shade. We are gonna be doing a really cool double eyeliner on the bottom, so this is just to prep for that. And then same idea, taking that darker gray and blending that out as well. We just wanna mimic what is on the top of our eyes onto the bottom of our eyes. So you just kind of follow the same steps. Then we're going in with the black matte eyeshadow and a tiny, tiny eyeliner brush. And I'm gonna just kind of put this directly into my lashes, just like a really thin line of this black eyeshadow. And then we're gonna work on a double wing. If you look up close up photos of Olivia, she has this awesome double wing, which is so 50, so Marilyn Monroe. So we're just doing that today. So I'm flipping my brush around and I'm just mimicking the same line on top, but leaving a little gap in between the two wings. Then I'm just going to take a little Q-tip and some makeup remover and just kind of finesse that a little bit. You can really just go in, 
fix the line, make it thinner, make it a different direction, anything you need to kind of just fix that up, but it should look something like that. Then I'm taking the NYX white eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna put a white line, oh, careful here, in between those two black wings. Again, you can really see this if you zoom in on pictures of Olivia. It's just a really awesome look. Marilyn Monroe used to do this. And there we go, I'm putting it in my waterline as well. This just gives you that bright doll-like look and it's just, I didn't even realize Olivia had this until I really looked at the photos. Curl your eyelashes and apply mascara as you normally would. We will be going in with falsies later, but I like to just put a base coat of mascara. It just helps me apply eyelashes easier. And then I'm also gonna tight line with a black or brown eyeliner. So this you're using in your upper waterline and you're just making sure that there's no gaps in between the black eyeliner and your mascara and just looks really seamless. Back into that blush duo, I'm just using that powder blush to set everything. Again, just a really kind of beigey, blushing color. Very neutral, and it just really works well with this look. Now going in with some highlighter. This is the RMS Living Luminizer Quad. It's just a cream highlighter. I'm using a tiny, tiny little bit. Like I said, really in the show, her skin looks quite matte, which was more popular in the 50s. So I'm just using a little bit of highlighter just to modernize it a little bit. Then we're going in with lip liner. This is the NYX lip liner in hot red and I'm just lining my lips as normal. She has the stunning classic red lip. So just line your lips. She doesn't have any crazy lip shape. So just do what you normally do with your lips. And then you also wanna fill that in a little bit just to kind of give a better base for the lipstick and to make sure your lipstick lasts all night. This is the YSL Rouge Pour, Pour Couture Lipstick in 01. It is just a true red. It is not too blue, not too warm. It is just a bright, bright red that is not matte. She definitely has a sheen to her red lips, so we don't want anything too matte, although it would work as well, but I just like a little bit of that shine. Now we're gonna put on some falsies. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. Such a classic, just fluffy, fluttery, and just really, really emphasizes the eye look without taking away too much of it. Oh, I'm gonna highlight a little bit. This is the Dior Universal Highlighting Palette on my inner corners of my eyes, just to kind of make them pop. And this is the finished look. I really hope you like this tutorial. Please leave in the comments down below other musicals or movies you'd like me to recreate, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.